Hi people, welcome back. Here's example 3.3. I'll give you a quick start. Right, definition of a moment, force multiplied by perpendicular distance. Right, so before we start, I am going to extend the line of action of the force this way, like so. Okay, and through the point of rotation at A, I'm going to draw a line at right angles to that one there. So there's my right angle, like so. And this force is still acting like so. And then, so you can see that, that that distance is equal to that distance there. So the lever on there is still 0.12 meters. Okay, let me just do this quickly here. Note 0.12 meters. Okay, 0.12 meters. Right, then the same thing with this one here. I'm going to extend the line of action of this force like so. Just ex I'm extending it. And then through the point of rotation, now think about it. A lot of sp students struggle with this. Through the point of rotation, at right angles to the line of action of that force, like so. Okay. That distance there is little d, okay, and there's my force of 150 Newton, let me squeeze it in there, like so, right, so that force, there's this lever on, which is the same as that, because it's all square, like a rectangle, but there's a rectangle, this force here, I've extended the line of action of that way there, and that force multiplied that Right angle distance there, little d, is the leave on for that force there. Right, right, let's take moments about point A. So we say the sum of the moments about point A is equal to this force here. I can do any one, starting there. Is it plus or minus about A? It's clockwise about there, so it's plus. So it's plus 250 multiplied by 0 0.12, 0 0.12. This force here, can we see that it's going anti-clockwise with respect to A? So it will be minus 150 times little d. Do we know what little d is? No, we don't, but we can work at it using the famous old trigonometry. Right, let's see. 60, 60. Okay, so I know the angle there, and I know the hypotenuse there of 0.16 meters. Right, let me just see. Okay, let me. Let's see, so little d, which trig ratio are we going to use? We are going to use sine. So the sine of 60 degrees, sorry, is equal to small d over 0.16. Okay, so little d will be equal to 0.16 multiplied by sine 60. I do know what that is. Right, so little d is over here. So I'm going to say 150 times little d, but little d is 0.16 multiplied by sine 60 is equal to, I didn't change the color, no, give me, anyway, let me do it now. Right, so pick up your calculator and work out the answer. And the answer should be 9.22. Newton meters. My dot keeps being small. Right. The answer is positive. What does it mean? The plate is going to want to turn clockwise. Okay. By the way, we call it a cusset plate there. Okay. That could be a bar. That's a bar. They're all pulling on it. And uh, this plate wants to turn clockwise into clockwise about the fulcrum there. You can see there's a there's a fulcrum there. There's a plate there. It's bolted down. This plate wants to spin. That's one thing to do this way to it. That's force I wanted to do that way, but eventually when the forces act and it's let go of, it's going to turn by that amount clockwise. Okay, so that's the sum of the moments about point A for that cusset plate over there. And if I go back to my sketch, which is that over there, yippee, 9.22 newton meters clockwise, and that's what I get there. Okay, so that's correct. Okay, people, I will see you in the next lesson on moments.